Hello, hello. We're live. Thanks for joining me, Friday. Let me put, uh, let me get the, the comments here. Still trying out StreamYard. We'll see how it goes. Let me know if, uh, if anybody's here. I don't think they've shown up yet. Just get notified, we'll get started. Today's, we'll go over it again, but today's dinner is going to be, we've got leftovers, so lots of leftovers in the fridge that we have to get through. Um, and I made a tomato, tomato soup yesterday, which uh, has to get used up. So instead of just having soup, we're gonna turn it into a pasta. Hey, Susan, welcome. Thank you, everybody. This is Jamie's here. We'll wait for everybody to join up, and then we'll go over what we're going to cook today. Leftover, leftover day today. Friday, the weather is the weather is lousy in uh, here, and uh, so we've been kind of sticking around home for the most part. Happy Friday, Kelsey. Jason's here. Dean's here. Hello, hello. Happy Friday, of course. What's everybody? Is there, it's, it's five. Well, it's five o'clock here. We, we went out last weekend. We, we bought, bought some. some um, it's actually, actually okay. okay. It's, it's not. Uh, it's like, like uh, uh, no alcohol red wine. wine. It's, 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 not, it's a little different. different. So I'm having that with everybody here. here. Um, Jamie's in Peachland. It's only twelve and rainy. It's like well, it's 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 about the same here, Jamie. So I feel for you. But thanks for joining, everybody. We'll get we'll get started because we are getting we are getting hungry here. Um, we're gonna have. Uh, like I said, uh, we did, I had a, it's kind of been like used up stuff in the fridge because we're getting groceries once a week, but then by the end of the week, it's like stuff has to get used up. And I made some, I made soup yesterday uh, and it's impossible to make just like a, a, not, a little bit of soup. So we had uh, some pita bread and some, this is a pureed, uh, we used some like fresh, we had fresh tomatoes to use up out of the fridge. So we did like pureed tomato soup with roasted garlic and red pepper so that's the that's the soup and i'm going to turn it into pasta tonight we're going to do like a we're going to we're going to kind of spice up the uh, spice it up a little bit make a sauce and we're going to cook it with some uh some linguine that we have oh freddie's here hey freddie welcome and lucia's here and stella's here the whole crowd is here. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's uh, let's uh, let's kind of get started. So, I saw you got we got the soup here. It's quite a bit left over. Uh, I'm gonna chop up an onion for this. So we're gonna make the sauce with an onion. I've got a pepper, red pepper. I'm gonna use up. We're gonna put in there, and then some gar some garlic, uh, fresh garlic, a couple of garlic cloves. Sam's here. Hey, Sam. Uh, good evening. I'm not gonna go pronounce your name. I'm Del Delgra. I think that's right. Uh, we're gonna make it spicy because we do like it spicy. Some, some chili flakes, and we've got a little bit of mixed like dry herbs, some dry herbs to use up. So we're gonna use that for the for the sauce as well. Let's get started. We've got boiling water gonna be going on the stove here, so I'll just turn this back up. We'll boil some pasta. This one's super simple, just using up what we had kind of in the fridge. So I will have time definitely to answer some of your questions if we if we get uh, we'll get this going, but then we'll answer your questions if you have some other questions with what maybe you could you want to maybe have some some leftover ideas to kind of spice up uh, what's left in your fridge. We can maybe uh, give you some tips, all right? So let's get this started here. We'll do, there we go. So first off, we'll cut up the, we're gonna dice up the onion. So we've done that, we've done this before. We're just gonna dice this up. And I want the sauce uh, because the, the tomatoes are all pureed. I, I mean, I have a fairly large dice just so it's um, just a bit chunkier, like kind of chunky, chunky pastas. So don't worry about having like a too precise of a of a dice. We're gonna have it a bit chunkier sauce at the end there. So if you have any questions as we go here, let me know. And uh, yeah, so Nadia is making pasta tonight as well. What kind, of, you can, what kind of pasta are you making, Nadia? Are you following along? Well, maybe not leftover, maybe be following along. But, and I know, I know you make good lasagna. Maybe it's lasagna. And then we have, we've upgraded uh, technologies here, Kelsey, for the live stream. 
So, I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. These are big garlics. I'm only going to use a couple of them. And then we'll get everything cooking up. There we go. Peel those. Oh, olive oil pasta with kale. Well, you know I don't like kale, <clears throat> but there's probably there's probably a, I know there's a few people here that do like kale. I've never I think that's something Jason would like. Uh, he likes kale. You couldn't pay me to eat kale. So we're gonna chop up the peppers. So this is a perfect kind of like pasta is, is like a perfect thing, perfect dish to kind of use up what you have in the fridge. If you had, uh, you know, leftovers, kind of almost, you know, any kind of vegetable you could chop up and make a nice pasta with, um, just to kind of use, use stuff up definitely in the fridge, or if you have even leftover, uh, you know, meats or anything like that, you could also chop that up and, you know, make a nice kind of toss it in with the sauce. Don't be afraid to use up stuff. Can't make stuff from scratch every, every day. So, and then we're going to do the garlic nice big chunk, chunk, chunks as well. Oh, that's a good tip. So like kale over spinach soup because so I've never had kale in soup. That's interesting. I would never even think to put kale in soup. I've, I've had spinach in soup, but I guess that makes sense. It might be okay in soup if you've got enough uh, other things <laughs> to offset the kale. So maybe we'll have to find a recipe uh, for that. Oh, and Jane on Troubles, welcome. Welcome to the show. All right, so we've got everything chopped up there. I guess I could, I, I'm not used to the camera, so we've got the chopped up uh, red peppers, chopped up onion, a little bit chopped up garlic. We're gonna saute this off and then we'll heat up the sauce. So we don't really need the cutting board anymore. And we'll move this in the way here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Lucia pasta. With butter and cheese, yes, that is that is that's one of my favorites as well. Just as, just fresh pasta. I also have it with a little bit of uh, cracked pepper on top, or olive oil instead of butter. Super simple. It's a good lunch. And the cheese seven, yeah, that's right. She knows what she wants. Oh, and Christine is here. She's been watching. Perfect. Welcome. This is our, uh, I think it's number 30, uh, 32 of live streams. So we've done three a week for lots of, almost like 10 weeks now. So crazy. 32. There we go. So number 32. And it's, it's, it's each week seems to be seems to be growing, which is kind of neat. Lots of, it's fun to have different, uh, different people joining. All, that's, uh, that's all the world, just on the bottom there. So 32nd anniversary, yeah, 32. We'll keep doing it. As long as people are watching, we'll keep doing it. So olive oil in the pan, and then we're gonna put the onions first. As best we can, keep the peppers out. If a few drop in, that's okay. And we'll just sweat those off. Yeah, so many weeks now, right? right? It's, 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 it's like uh, it's, it all kind of blends in, blends in uh, together. So we're going to saute those off. And yeah, the gin. Chef gin.
There we go. So we're going to sweat these off a little bit. Our water is boiling, so we can get the pasta in pretty soon. But we'll hold it off and can chat for a little bit before we cook everything too fast. So does anybody have, what's everybody else having for dinner? Is anybody else having left, like leftover stuff tonight? Are you looking for any ideas to maybe spice up some leftovers or you uh, use up some stuff? And, oh, Vizzo, welcome. Hey, we are making, we're doing some leftovers. I have leftover tomato soup that I'm making into pasta sauce for some linguine tonight. This is simple Friday dinner. And then the peppers and garlic. So this is simple. We're using we're using what's left over in the in the in the fridge, basically. Christine's having craft dinner. Okay. Yes. yes. Look, it's homemade. It's homemade. Macaroni and cheese. Now that's good. All right. Now we're gonna spice this up. I do like we got some chili. These are just chili flakes. I know Nadia's not gonna like these, but we're gonna give it a bit of a bit of a kick. And uh, so it's Dave's Dave's turn to cook tonight. That's nice. <clears throat> I make Jason. Jason's gonna cook on the weekend. We'll make some hummus or something. We gotta get him to film. We'll probably film it. The, the hummus recipe. There we go. Oh, that sounds good. Leftover chicken breast pasta and chicken fettuccine. There you go. Very similar. Nice. Good idea. So. Let's, let's sweat it off there. I'm going to add the, that. I've just got the, this is just the, the tomato soup that was in the fridge. So just going to put that all in the bowl or in the pot. There we go. And then we'll turn this down. We don't want to splatter, splatter everywhere. Give it a little stir. And then all really now we have to do is heat this up. So we'll get the pasta on in a second. And then we can uh, chit chat. Here we go. You don't want to have the tomato sauce too hot. Too, if it gets too hot, it'll, well, number one, it'll burn. But number two, it like splatters everywhere. So you want to make sure that you have it, you have it uh, relatively... Uh, Low on the low on the lower end side. There we go. And then we're gonna add about some mixed. Uh, these are like this Italian mixed herbs. It's dry. Um, we just bought this. Uh, it's like uh, the, the usual, you know, Italian Italian herb blend: basil, oregano. There's some garlic powder and uh, marjoram in there, and rosemary and sage. So if you're using dry herbs, obviously it's better if you can get if you can get fresh, but if you don't have if you don't have fresh herbs, you can always use the dry. But when you when you're gonna use them, rub them rub them through your your hand before you put them in, because it's gonna bring out the it's gonna bring out the flavor into the. Uh, and then this is starting to now smell like tomato sauce over soup. So we'll just let that we'll just let that heat up. There we go. We'll take that off there for a minute. Let's look at the watch that boil for. Uh, oh, Pam, what's Pam having? Pam's having leftover pizza. Leftover pizza is good, so it's local. Nice. Local pizza place. Mm. We still haven't made pizza on this channel. Sorry. <laughs> Christine's going to give a shit. And then Sam did leftovers last night. Use a cauliflower steak, okay? barbecue, tofu, roast yams, and ramen noodles. That sounds pretty good. We've got a cauliflower in the, in the fridge still, Sam. We're probably going to do cauliflower tacos at some point over the weekend because that recipe is so good. And yes, I do need some crusty garlic bread. And I thought of that this morning. Obviously, pasta goes with garlic bread, right? But I don't have any I don't have any 
the only thing we have in the freezer is, is hamburger buns from when we did we did the portobello mushroom burgers on the other the other on Wednesday. So I don't know if garlic bread with hamburger buns is the greatest. So I, I we're gonna skip that tonight. But um, if we were desperate, we could do with hamburger buns. But we do need a baguette it would be perfect. If we had that. Just didn't we didn't go anywhere. It's pouring rain here today. Didn't go to the store just for a, a, a baguette. And obviously. Not ambitious enough to bake bake a uh, bake some bread. So, <laughs> but good call, good call on that. And there's a good, good question. question. Sam, what did she? So, so for, for cauliflower steaks, steaks yeah, we, we did, did one, one. We, we did, did one, one kind of based on the Gordon Ramsay recipe, Sam. But I'm interested maybe, maybe hear what you call it first. Maybe something so a little good. different because they were really good. Let me get the pasta. Got to put the pasta. Uh, boiling water on the stove. Everybody, everybody hopefully has cooked pasta before. Pretty straightforward. We didn't make, we have, we have a lot of uh, pasta left over in the cupboard, so I didn't make a fresh pasta. Right? The whole idea is to use what we have and use up before we buy other stuff. We got to use this, use this stuff up. Oh, the sound is echoing. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Let me, uh, one sec. How's that? Maybe that's better. I think I had the other mic on the other camera got turned on by mistake. Let me know if that sounds better. Dean says better. Nadia says better. There we go. Technicals. I had the other camera on with the mic. I think it turns on when I turned the camera, when I switched it, so should be good. Uh, boiling water on the stove. We're gonna cook a package, linguine. And this will only take, the package always says, uh, I always look at the package to see, you know, it says eight or nine minutes. It always seems to take a little bit longer than what the package says. But with pasta, we just have to try it. That's the best. That's the best way to know when it's done. Is just take a little bit out and we'll we'll try it. So the sound is back. Perfect. I'll show. I'll give you. I'll just let you see this on the uh, as we go here. So it's starting to kind of heat up and bubble. And we'll get the pasta going. You'll notice today we are not using the Instant Pot for anything. Oh, and there's Sam. Uh, there's Sam's uh, homemade chimichurri. So you have to send the recipe, Sam. If you yeah, send that over to Jason. We'll, we'll we'll give it a try on the stream. We do we do have some some cauliflower to use up. So that'd be kind of good. Try something different. Oh, here's a good here's a good question. What's your what's your favorite type of pasta? I think mine is probably, las I mean, if it counts as, pa I guess it counts as pasta, but like lasagna, homemade lasagna would be my, would be my favorite. And then Christine, no, I know no fresh pasta. We're using what's in the cupboards. There we go. Oh, okay. So, oh, I see. Okay. Um, so Nadia was asking type of pasta, like what kind of noodles are my favorite? Uh, my favorite noodle is, I would say penne. I like, I like normally be able to eat it with a, just a regular fork. So penne, penne or fusilli. So what about everybody else? So, oh, here we go. Oh, that's not good. My mother-in-law decided to drop four gallons. So, like, I, I'm vegetable. Oil, like, is it like drop? Like, literally, you have to clean it up. Hopefully, you don't have to clean it up. <laughs> um, 
vegetable oil. I mean, you could use it for making vinaigrettes and stuff, I guess. Making, you could make mayonnaise. I mean, it's gonna last, <coughs> excuse me. The vegetable oil is gonna last for a while. Um, that's a good one. Cause I don't use a lot of vegetable oil. Mostly, for sometimes for a little bit of like baking will last for vegetable oil, but I go through a lot more, more olive oil. If it was four gallons of olive oil, I'd have no problem giving you, giving you recipes. But that's a little bit tougher. So maybe some other people have some suggestions. And Sam would use the buns. Yeah, I know. So Susan likes angel hair. Good choice. Okay. Uh, Lucia likes butterfly pasta. That's um, for folly, I think. Right? Yeah. And Nadia likes fusilli. But spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti is traditional. You know, if it, yeah, yeah. Spaghetti with bowl and like with uh, meat sauce, I guess would be the the best thing. Although I do like, like I do like penne, but it always seems, it does take a bit longer to cook, obviously because it's kind of thicker, it seems, uh, but then like the, then the spaghetti or linguine. So if you're in a hurry, it's always linguine. Oh, there you go, Christine, good, good tip. Yeah, deep fry. Good, uh, good, good, uh, good call on that one. You could do that. Yeah, fondue. Look at that. Good tips. I'm gonna turn this down to simmer because that is uh, that is heated up and ready. Good call. Good call on that one. And Jason likes too silly. And because it, it, yeah, it holds in the bits and pe like the yeah. Fusilli, fusilli is good if you're having like a pasta salad, cold, if you're having cold, like a cold pasta salad, it's nice, it's good for that because it holds all the pieces, bits and pieces in the salad and the dressing. And Stella likes rotini too. Rotini I think is the most popular here. And gnocchi, yeah, gnocchi is good too. I don't know if that, is that, I guess it's a pasta. Yeah, we'll call it a pasta. And then another idea for the vegetable oil. There we go, thanks everybody. Deep fried chicken strips, could do that. Yeah, it does burn at a lower, yeah, you have to be careful if you're doing it for, uh... you could probably do fondue though. I would use up one gallon, <laughs> then you got three more. <laughs> uh, and macaroni, yeah, macaroni is good too. I guess it's all good. This is almost ready. Almost. So the best way to really try it, I mean, you can almost kind of look, you can almost kind of look at the pasta to know it's going to be done. And once you, once you cool, it cools off and feels it, but the best way is to just taste a piece. Um, it's still a little bit raw. Needs about a minute. There we go. We got our sauce. This was a fast. This was a fast one today. Under uh, under your uh, under your um, under the under the under well under the hour, but oh, there you go, spicy oil. Yeah, you could do that too. Although you might want to mix a. Yeah, I guess yeah, that'd be good. Or her like a herb oil, garlic oil. Yeah, you could do that too. Good, good call there. Okay. Yeah, you can throw, yeah, you can throw, we used to do this as kids. We used to, uh, here, what we used to do is we used to throw it against the fridge. That's how you would tell it was done. And it always works with noodles. So we would take it and then if it's stuck, which it's not sticky, it would, it would, it would mean it would be done. So there we go, not quite done yet. <laughs> But it's almost finished. That's how we used to do it. Although I think that sometimes maybe makes it a little bit overdone, Christine. But that's a way to that is a way to check. That's too funny. <laughs> and then, yeah, you don't want to throw it against the wall. You want to throw it against like, uh, like somewhere like the fr like the fridge or something, somewhere that you can clean. 
because the, you don't want it on the paint because I think the paint, if there's oil or anything on there, it's not good. Not, not the good one. That's too funny. And then, yeah, so I like it a little bit al dente too, for sure. Holds together nicer. Tastes. Because if it's too cooked, it's right, Freddie. If it's too cooked, it gets kind of, it's just not good. It's kind of mushy. But this was uh, this was an easy one. Thanks for coming. Because these are almost almost finished. Mm. Ready. Don't want it too mushy. And there we go. Let's as I plate this all up and get it ready. Let's see. Anyone watching any good movies or shows? Because it's coming up for the weekend, and we might as well uh, see what everybody's watching. So we'll strain, strain off the, strain off the pasta. And then what I like to do here, once the pasta, once the pasta is strained. Drain it all off. Back in the pot. Just a touch of olive oil. You don't need too much. And then uh, mix it around. And what will what this will do is it will stop it from it'll stop it from sticking together in a big ball. So if you don't if you don't quite serve it right away, it will uh, it won't stick together the same. And what's nice about this is once it cools off, if you put it in the fridge, it won't really stick together the same in the fridge either. So. Here we go. We'll put it in a bowl and we'll, we'll give it a try. So everybody seems to be starting. Sam's watching Superstore on Prime, Amazon Prime. Jason's starting Little Fires Everywhere on Prime. Uh, Pam's watching the same. Christine is watching Loving Line of Duty, but not, but almost finished. Nadia is watching Unbelievable, and Kelsey is watching Dead to Me. So good. There we go. And Susan's watching uh, Bodyguard again. There we go. <laughs> and. Uh, and Freddie, here we go. So I think little fires everywhere is the cons is I think is the con almost the consensus of what's uh, what's happening. So I'm gonna plate this up so everybody can watch. In the meantime, we'll put this on here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everybody, I think here is subscribe. But if you could hit that little little thumbs up, that's always appreciated. To all the new new oh all the regulars that came, but all the new people, thanks for coming. It's always kind of fun to share share making uh, dinner. And uh, hopefully you learn a few things. Uh, tonight's dinner was obviously not the most culinary, but we're using up what we had, and we're going to have a nice little dinner here. Oh, I need the cheese. Can't forget the cheese. Parmesan cheese. So a little bit of pasta on top there. We've got my sauce. Like so. There we go. I do like cracked pepper on mine as well. So a little bit of cracked pepper. Turn that off. And the best thing, I think we've, I, I know we've talked about the, um, uh, I know I've talked about, uh, the, I talk about it every, I think on every episode is the mic, is the microplane, but I don't know if we've actually grated cheese with it. It's perfect for grating Parmesan cheese. It, it comes out like the nice, you can see it there, the nice the little flakes. It's like, a, it's almost like a, it's almost like the powder. So it's perfect. 
perfect for on top of pasta. Well, let's see if I can get it in the camera. There we go. Leftovers. Let me let me take this off. There we go. And I'll show you my dinner and we'll do a little taste test. It smells good. And uh, and don't forget, that's right, with uh, Christine's channel, uh, Christine uh, does her travel quiz show tomorrow. Um, check out her channel. There's a already it's already been posted. So 11 a.m. Pacific time, which will be for people here in Calgary, uh, 12 an hour ahead. And uh, she does the quiz show, and it's a lot of fun on her channel. You can check out her channel. It is Christine Turner? Let's do a search. She's been in the in the chat as well. Let's give this a taste. Smells good. Mixed up all the cheese. It's hot. That's a good kind of simple dinner, but perfect for like a rainy night. Sweet. Oh, that's it. We finished everything. Another uh, week, another week done. Thanks everybody for joining me. I'm gonna go finish this, put on Netflix. So have a good, uh, there's Jason's arm. He's waiting for his dinner. And uh, we'll see everybody on Christine's live stream tomorrow. And have a good weekend, everybody. Thanks so much.